Hey everybody, it's Tom, WA2IVD. It's been a little while since I've made a video. Things have been a bit hectic with family in for the holidays and some remodeling projects we've got going on. But as you can see, it's winter time here in Kansas. And with winter time, you start thinking a little bit more about the weather and weather watches and weather warnings. And today we're gonna to take a look at a feature on the 7100 that is probably a little bit underutilized, and that is the weather radio functions that are built into it. Let's get started. To access the weather radio functions on the 7100, you start with the quick menu, and that is the quick button that's the lower right button here in the center group. So you press quick, and at the top, sorry, at the bottom of the first page is weather CH, or weather channel, and all you have to do is touch that, Sky and mostly cloudy. that, a temperature of 41. let's turn that down a bit, that turns on the weather radio function, and you see here it says WX01. In my area, weather channel number one has an active transmitter that I can hear from here, and to change channels, you just use the memory channel knob, the center knob here, and you can go through, you can see I've got one on channel three, one that I can barely copy on channel four, and then uh, channel seven is actually the closest one to me. That's the one I usually use. And this includes all 10 weather channels. So to scroll through them again, you just go to whatever channel you want using this and you can listen to any weather channel this is in the united states at least with NOAA weather and this is the ic 7100 a which is the american model i honestly don't know if the european model has any equivalent to this because i don't really know if there's a weather transmitter system that's government operated in europe or in other parts of the world but that's one piece of it. Now, to turn this off, if we do quick, now you notice it says weather channel off on that same menu selection. So I'm just going to touch that and turn it off. Then the other feature that the 7100 has is weather priority scan. And that's also from the quick menu. And if you press quick, You've got weather channel at the bottom of the first page. If we go down one page, you have weather alert. And if I put it into weather alert mode, it's off right now, and then you can turn it on. In weather on, you'll see this little WX appear in the middle of the display here, just above the signal strength meter. That means that it is scanning the weather channel. And one important part of this when we were turning the weather channel on, you need to make sure you have it tuned to a weather transmitter where you're actually copying that. So the first thing you need to do is go to the weather channel, turn it into weather channel mode, select a station that you're receiving with good signal strength in your area, then go turn on the weather alert. The weather alert operates just like a standalone weather radio that you would purchase where the 7100 looks for specific alert tones or a special alert tone that the National Weather Service transmits when there's going to be a watch or a warning or any other kind of weather alert in your area. Now, the 7100 does not have a dual receiver, so the way that it does the weather alert is about every five seconds it will check the weather frequency for about a half second to see if there's an alert tone being sent. So if you want to hear what that sounds like, let's go, we'll go to HF here to VFO mode. And here's somebody talking. And if you notice, every five seconds, you'll see the receive light go off and you hear a brief pause. So every five seconds, the radio is going to go check it. If you're trying to copy somebody, 
you're going to, with casual conversation, not have any problem, and you're going to be able to hear most of what they're saying. If you were trying to copy a call sign or something just at the instant it switched over, you might miss a letter or a number. Um, but for the most part, sorry, I should have turned that down before I kept talking here. The For the most part, you can use the radio just fine with this alert on for any kind of casual conversation. You might not be able to use the radio very well for digital modes with that mode, but if you are in digital modes, you're going to want to turn this off, and I'm guessing if you're running mobile, you're probably not running digital modes. And I find this mostly useful for mobile, although you could certainly leave this on if you use this as a base radio. So it's kind of hard to just make an alert happen, and uh, I'm not going to be able to do that right now, but our weather service office, and I think most of them around the country, do a test of the weather alert system weekly. And the other night, I came out and tuned to the weather station here just before 7 o'clock and monitored the alert. So let's take a look at that, and you can see what it sounds like when the alert happens. You saw the alert tone and you saw that it changed the display and what happens there. Now the one other feature, I should say lack of feature, that this radio does not have that a dedicated weather radio has is the National Weather Service on their transmitters, They when they broadcast the alert tone, they have a system called SAME, which is... I believe specific area message encoding. I'll put the actual acronym up on the bottom of the screen here. That allows you on a dedicated weather radio to program your county and also to program specific alerts that you want to hear or don't want to hear. So you might want to only get alerted when there's warnings and not get alerted when there's just a watch or a winter weather advisory or things like that. The 7100 does not have any features for that. When you turn on the weather alert function, it's going to alert for any weather alert that happens. And again, if you're mobile or you're portable or you're out working remote, probably that's the safest way to go anyway, so you know you get an alert if anything's happening in the area where your transmitter is. And you're never going to get anything that's not at least in your regional area because the weather transmitters around the country, they're all VHF. It's in the 162 megahertz range. So any weather transmitter that you're copying is going to have an alert that is pertinent to somewhere in your vicinity. That's about it. There's not really much else to the function. Oh, I guess the one last thing is to turn off the weather alert function. You just, uh, let me turn this up so you can hear the beeps. You go uh, back to the weather alert, which is, again, the second page down in the menu, and you just change that back to off. And then you see that the weather alert goes away on the display, and you're back to normal mode. So there you have it. Kind of a hidden feature of the 7100 that might come in handy if you want to get weather alerts. That's all I've got for this time. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, I'd appreciate a click on the like button. If you find the channel useful, please consider subscribing. You can also click on the bell icon to be notified when new videos come out. You'll find a link to the companion website for this channel in the description. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Tom, WA2IVD, and this is Ham Radio A to Z.